Hey everybody, how you doing? This is about to be a really fun video. You guys have been asking to see videos on the Savage Axis Rifles. We've been trying to do quite a few here recently, but today, 6.5 Creedmoor Savage Axis. This one does have the Accu trigger there, you can see on the sticker. So, this baby is brand spanking new. Just put this uh, little budget friendly 3x9x40 Bushnell on here and I'm going to sight it in and see what we think about this Savage Axis in 6.5 Creedmoor. Ammo I brought out for us today, I've been sitting on this for a while. Some American Whitetail from Hornady and how heavy is this? You guys read that? 129 grain Hornady Interlocks. Anyways, um, and let me show you if you're not familiar with the 6.5 Creedmoor, it might look a little funky to you. But there's a lot of people that absolutely love 6.5 Creedmoor. It's a real flat round. I've taken mine out to a thousand yards real easy. Light recoil, flat shooting round. Yeah, it's kind of hard not to like it. But uh, let's get over to the bench here. Get this thing bore sighted at 10 yards, then we'll sight it in at 100. And if it doesn't like this Hornady at all, um, I'll see if I can find some more ammo and see what happens. But let's go think what we, see what we think about this Savage Axis and 6.5 Creedmoor. I know a lot of you guys love your Axis, and I know a lot of you guys love your 6.5 Creedmoor. So let's see what we can do with this. And this one has the Accu Trigger. All right, like I said, this scope is brand new, just slapped on this. Uh, Savage Axis here so if you guys watch the videos you know how I do it but I like to just get them bore sighted and then close at 10 yards so I took the bolt out looked down it and kind of aligned the scope to what I thought would be close but at 10 yards I normally like it to be like two inches low then when we go back to 100 it's normally pretty close at 100 so I'm just gonna take one shot here got one of those horn natties and let's just see where she's going to hit at 10 yards. We might make a couple small adjustments, then we'll take it back to 100 and see what we can do with it. But here's the 10 yard shot here. And actually, not too bad from the bore sighting. Um, let's go down just a shade. Three clicks down and it looks like it's a hair to the right, so we need to go to the left. Two clicks down. Let's go back to 100 yards and see where at where we're at at 100. Side it in, then we'll do a little group test and see how we can get this savage to group out here. All right, so like I said. This scope was just slapped on here, so we got a cider in. Drop the mag out. Grab some of that whole natty. Three. I think three shots, we can get her sighted in. What about you? I think we can do it. I have faith. I think we can get the mag to go in. There we go. Now, see what we can do with it. Hopefully we're on the plate here. <clears throat> huh. Well, you got to put the mag in all the way. Hopefully we're on the plate at 100 yards here. We're about to find out. Oh, we got to give her all the zooms. At nine power zooms. See what happens. Woo! You got to be kidding me. That little circle is a penny and going from 10 yards to 100 yards, we literally hit the bullseye with the first shot. You guys saw it here in some live action. I'm almost afraid to touch that. Tell you what, I'm going to go ahead and do a, a another shot real quick because I could have uh, flinched and made it look like a good shot. Let's take another one and see what happens. I wasn't expecting the trigger to be that good, tell you the truth. Shot number two here. So, that one I trust a lot more. So, I'm gonna make an adjustment. 
we need to go uh down or no up we need to go up four clicks let's go up five clicks and left two clicks now let's see where this third one hits hopefully closer to that bullseye I'm trying to save my brass here <clears throat> the brass fell in the grass third shot hopefully this is uh close to the bullseye again oh yeah I'm going to go ahead and trust that one so that first shot was just a fluke. <laughs> and I'm going to go left one click and then we're not going to touch it. So now let's go to a clean plate and we'll do a three shot group of both this Hornady and this Norma ammo over here. So I'm going to grab three of the Hornady here and we'll see what kind of group we can get. I can't believe that first shot. Even though it was a fluke, I still hit the bullseye. Savage Axis. I tell you what, uh, they make some more affordable models than this. This one's still not expensive. But that Accu Trigger, that's a game changer. Uh, especially if you're using it for hunting, man. I'd spend another $100 just to have that Accu Trigger. That really is a game changer uh, compared to the ones that have triggers that are not an Accu Trigger. Oh, what happened there? Let's go to a clean plate and see what happens. Three shot group with the Hornady. And remember, we got uh, nine zoomies on this scope. A little bit left of the bullseye there. Second shot, see where it hits. A little bit up. Now let's see where the third one hits. Pretty close to the first one. So I wouldn't call that a terrible group, but I also wouldn't call it a fantastic group either. Now I'm going to get the normal whitetail out here. See if it likes this normal whitetail any better. Got to have a knife to open these boxes. And these are a little bit heavier at 140 grain. Those Hornady's were uh, 129. Maybe this one likes a heavier bullet. I don't know, but we're fixing to find out. Three of the Normas here. All right, let's go to a clean plate. See what happens here. There's shot number one. Too bad, not too bad. Remember, it's not sighted in with this one, so we're just looking at the group, not bullseyes. Shot number three here. And a little bit more left to that other one. So let's go down there and look at our groups real quick. Definitely love the AccuTrigger in this, but I don't think I'm too crazy impressed with the groups yet. And both of those are pretty good ammo. Oop. Walking up to our target, here's where we sighted it in. This is our three shot group with the Hornady. That's maybe an inch and a quarter group. There's my thumb there. Maybe just over an inch for that group there. And then there's the normal whitetail, kind of a string right to left. There's my thumb again. That's probably a inch and a quarter to inch and a half group there too so the hornady and the norma pretty similar results not terrible at 100 yards but definitely not the best group we've ever seen but there you have it guys a real quick video sighting in this savage axis in 6.5 creedmoor these a lot of times come in a combo pack with this scope but, very budget friendly deer hunting rifle. Those groups weren't terrible. Like I said, we did that 
Norma Whitetail and the Hornady both. Like I said, the groups weren't terrible, but none of those hits were touching. And that kind of makes me a little bit sad. At least like to get a couple of them close to touching at 100 yards. Uh, but those are the only two types of ammo I had to test in this baby here today. Uh, this one might like a different ammo better than those two. You guys know how it is. A uh, particular rifle will love a particular weight uh, and loading a bullet than others. But that would definitely take a deer. Um, definitely good enough for a, a whole lot of fun out at the range and in the deer woods. But let me know what you think about the Savage Axis. Let me know what you think about 6.5 Creedmoor. Lots of people love it. Appreciate y'all. Comment down below ideas for future videos. Don't forget to check out all the links down below. Subscribe to our friends at Heavy Metal. We'll see y'all on the next one.